Hello everyone! The Pepega mod for Pro Street is coming closer and closer, so we thought now is a good time to show off some of the many new gameplay mechanics and features in this mod. We have doubled the car count from the original Pro Street from 75 cars to over 150. Not every one of the new cars is just available in the dealership, however. Some cars can only be obtained via special means, either through winning them in special events or by finding them. There are several car wrecks scattered across three locations. You can find them by looking around the tracks, and if you are close, a sound effect will appear. The sound effect will give you an idea how far away from the wreck you are. Once you've found it, simply drive up to it and collect it. Collecting just one isn't enough though, as there are multiple wreck locations across the tracks. You can track your progress on the career map to check where you might be missing some. Some of these wrecks are really well hidden, so in order to help you out we've added a free look camera. Once you have collected all car wrecks in a location, the car will be automatically added to your garage. These cars can have special attributes, and in the case of this charger, aptly named the family car, well, just see for yourself. Let's stick with drag racing for a moment. Ever wanted to put a front-wheel drive car into a wheelie competition? Well, now you can. Let's start by getting ourselves a front-wheel drive car. This newly added CRX Del Sol should do the trick. After upgrading, you can find a new slider in the tuning menu. Switch over to drivetrain, and the first thing you'll see is a slider for drivetrain swaps. In the case of this car, since it's front-wheel drive, it will be set all the way to the front by default. You can now move the dot along the slider, and if we were to put it in the middle, the car would now be all-wheel drive. And similarly, setting it all the way to the rear makes it rear-wheel drive. You can set this dot to wherever you want on the slider, effectively getting an uneven power distribution. But that's up to you to experiment with. For now, let's set it all the way to the rear, and see how our Del Sol does in a drag race. As you can already see, it's pulling a burnout from the rear tires, and if you made sure to add enough upgrades to the car, it will lift off. Drag racing itself has also received a new addition. We have added new event types to the game in hopes of keeping things fresh, and one of them is called Drag Challenge. These are a challenge in the most literal sense of the word. You won't be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with an opponent, but are instead on your own. The real challenge here lies with the track itself. Drag challenges feature obstacles to dodge and tricky terrain to master. Can you make it to the finish line in one piece, while still getting the fastest time? Another new event type we added are sprint runs. These are effectively a mix between grip, drag and drift races. You'll be going mano a mano against other drivers on a very short sprint track. The idea here is to learn and master the track as much as possible over three runs in order to achieve the fastest time. Whether you're ahead or behind on the track doesn't matter much, as long as you'll post the fastest time. Should you stay behind your opponent to benefit from slipstreaming? Or is it better to get ahead quickly to use racing lines to their full potential? That's up to you to figure out. In an effort to modernize Pro Street, we have added achievements to the game. There are over 40 in total to be awarded for progression, specific gameplay feats, or something more obscure. We decided to also tie rewards to these achievements, and as such you can unlock a whole variety of cheat codes. You can bring up the cheats menu at any point during a race, and toggle on as many as you like. For demonstration purposes, let's add a piss filter, while also massively increasing the torque of the car and halving its mass. That went about as well as expected. Anyways, here's one more neat thing. We have added more customization for the in-game soundtrack this time around. Traditionally, Pro Street would only let you turn each song on or off. Now you can decide when and where exactly each track plays, either during a race or only in the menu. On top of that we have not just added many new songs to the game, but also preserved the original soundtrack. So if you'd like to stick with the original soundtrack, you can set it all up in the EA Tracks menu. But that's a wrap for now. This was only a glimpse at what you can expect in the new Pepega mod for Pro Street. We hope you decide to give it a chance when it's available for download on April 1st. 
Remember to join our Discord server for more information on the exact release time and more info as we move closer to the release. We're so excited to finally share this mod with all of you. Thanks for watching and have a good one.